Hi. This is a demonstration of my Korg little bit synthesizer that I built. It's a modular pieces to build your own analog synthesizer combined with an Arduino, a little bit's Arduino, combined with a lot of code and a USB MIDI controller, which just about any any keyboard nowadays has got a USB port on it, a MIDI USB port. So I've, I've got a MIDI. I've actually got two MIDI USB keyboards. This Line Six and this little cord keyboard. They go into a USB hub, as does an iPad. You have to have a an iPad. You you have to have something to act as the controller to get the MIDI MIDI USB data from the keyboard into the Arduino. The Arduino doesn't act as a USB uh, controller device, but it, but it will receive the signals. So I'm using the iPad with the camera connection kit. And this is MIDI bridge. And so I'm just bridging the, the two inputs from these two USB devices into the Arduino. And then I've written a lot of code in the Arduino that takes the notes that are played on the keyboard, maps, maps it out voltage-wise, and sends it into the little bits oscillators. I've also programmed it to recognize the pitch bend and raise and lower the voltage to give the pitch bend a normal pitch bend feel. It's also got, I've coded into it, a simulated LFO to the pitch which is brought in with the modulation wheel. I've coded into it portamento so it will you can make it glide between notes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assign this this knob right here to the the MIDI controller that I assigned portamento for the demonstration. Okay so I'll start off first and then I've just got I've got uh, it goes out of the Arduino into a splitter into the two oscillators, and then out of the two oscillators into a mixer, out of the mixer into a filter, and the filter is triggered by an alternate output from the Arduino, which drives a sequencer, which triggers a random number or a random module, which randomizes the voltage slightly, and that goes into a a dimmer module, which lets me bring in and take out the the LFO, I mean the uh, the sequencer triggering the filter opening and closing so I can have the filter affected by the sequencer or the filter not affected by the sequencer using this dimmer. And then finally after the filter it goes into a delay, then it goes into another dimmer which I just use as a, it's an easier volume knob to grab than this little bitty speaker volume knob that's on here. So I'll start off, I've just got one oscillator on. And that's, that can be a soft tooth wave or a, sign, a, a square wave. So that's a square, and now I'll bring in the other oscillator. Adjust the filter. Some resonance. And it works from both keyboards.
Now I'll bring in this sequencer triggering the filter. can also be a, a noise. So good with this square wave. That's my chord little bit synthesizer. Uh, I built this this platform. It's just hinged wood. Uh, the idea is that it will eventually uh, let's get that straw. It will eventually fold up, and I'll I'll make something that's a little little that's convenient to carry around, and maybe. Maybe hinge this front latch where it'll flip down and grab grab the bottom and maybe put a handle on the other side of that. But that's it.